Hunter Henry, good morning. Good morning. Uh, where do you where 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 do we start? Where do we begin? Where is the uh where are the mentals of Hunter Henry as we sit here this morning at two and seven after another crushing loss? Um just yeah, I mean not good. It's tough. Um you know, I said it last night too, and just it's just you put a lot of work in and uh it's never the result you want and never where you want to be. Um, so the only thing I know is just to continue to keep going, continue to be consistent as, and try to get better as a football player and um, try to lead from the front um, and put the work in day in, day out. Well, I guess what do you what do you see as like uh, – because we were just talking about the one fear that I think a lot of people have is how the locker room is going to react, uh, how are guys going to – you know, uh, I guess, I don't know, subdue their own personal feelings or, you know, in frustrations. How do you, how do you keep the, the locker room from splintering? Like, how do you achieve that? I don't think the locker room will splinter. Um, we have a lot of good high character guys in that locker room. Um, and I don't think it'll splinter at all. I mean, we, we get another chance to go out there and play this week, week in, week out. Um, you know, we still got, football games to play um and you know we gotta you know just attack each game one game at a time um and i don't think it's gonna splinter at all we have a lot of high character guys so i don't think that's a worry too much but you know just for myself just trying to lead and uh, be myself bring a lot of positivity um and you know go to work day in day out like i said have you ever seen a situation like that where it's where it's where you kind of get the the hint that it is about to happen and guys are upset and are willing to kind of voice their frustration? Do you, and, and then if you if you have seen that, what would you do to kind of quiet that? Yeah, I, I, I've never seen that personally, um, in a lot of ways. But I mean, it it that can be tough. Um, I, I, I'm sure, but I think our locker room is, is full of a lot of, like I said, high character guys that are going to be, you know, excited to go out there for another opportunity um, when it comes Sunday. I know that uh, the the opening drive, you guys put together a pretty good opening drive, and then it is the don't convert on fourth and three. How important are the early drives in terms of success for you guys as an offense? I know earlier in the year, Hunter, we talked about getting off to the hot start. Defense gets you a three and out. You turn around. You put one together and then just missed. Does it have a different kind of impact early in the game in terms of setting a tone versus, say, in a third or early in a fourth quarter? Yeah, it uh, – yeah. We, we, I feel like we've lately, you know, been able to a few games here, been able to put a few, you know, good drives together early. Um, man, I wish we would finish that one. I mean, obviously that would have probably helped the end result. You know, you never know when that play is going to be that can change the game. So you just got to, you know, attack every play. And, um, you know, it can always be a couple plays in a game that can, you know, make a big impact. And you got to be ready for – when that is and each time each play throughout the game you just never know when that's going to be it could be literally the first drop it could be the last drop so we're talking to hunter henry hunter the um uh, the, the telecast back to that the juju smith schuster play like uh jonathan vilma who was the analyst was saying that that was a play the throw that mac shouldn't have thrown was that was that a throw that he should he, he can make right that that was was that the right call yeah um i mean you know, Mac I mean, the outcome wasn't what we got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, you know, play it is, it is what it is. It wasn't maybe just that play. But, you know, maybe the game shouldn't have come down. Like I said, there's other plays in the game that, you know, if we make that, it you know, wouldn't come down to that play. So we got to look at the whole scheme of things. I'm obviously that play is um, – shines bigger maybe than than other ones because it's a bigger moment but at the same time you know if we make other plays earlier in the game that it never comes down to that hunter henry with gresh and fourier here on a patriots monday on boston and new england sports original weei now we've had the uh privilege of talking to you for a, a bit of a time now and i know you sat in here with us hunter and there was the pi call early in the year where i was like come on man that was a joke you know give it to me uh, this PI call, 
I'm curious for your evaluation because on the replay, it looked like you uh, went peewee and dropped the shoulder and just ran the guy over. Can you sort of walk us through the anatomy of uh, of that call? Uh, because I know they give you a little room to have some contact, and there are people to quibble with the officials, but it looked like you just drove your shoulder right into the guy. Yeah, I mean, at this level, you get one yard. So, I, you know, he was coming up and pressing. I mean, he backed up a little bit. So, it was just probably a bad read on me. I got to be better. Is that a – so, is that a read situation in terms of how you have to handle that if the guy stays off a little bit? It's where you're just maybe standing there and getting in the way versus when they come up and kind of jump in your grill a little bit. That's all a part of that read there at the tight end spot? I mean, so, uh, yeah, it uh, – I mean, I got to – that's on me. I got to be better in that situation. I mean, they just you usually get one yard, and you know I should have probably read that a little bit better. I mean, he did a good job of you know falling down, and in a way, I mean, I didn't hit him that hard, but he did a good job of falling down and selling the call. So, all right, last one for me because uh, I guess I guess are you kind of happy you get to get out of the country right now and kind of just get out of town and maybe. Maybe I know the you know like maybe you know you guys spend a lot of time together and you know, I don't know get reacquainted and bond a little bit. Is that something you guys are looking forward to playing this game in Germany? Yeah, it'll be good. It'll be a good atmosphere. I've heard good things about it, so uh, I know all the guys will be excited. Is it a is it a Stein that you guys that they drink out there? The big like gallon jugs of like the big you know, like the St. Pauli girl. What are those beers called? The big giant beers. You guys allowed to das boot? Uh, no, not the boot. Could you handle the boot though? I guess I you got to no drink idea. it a certain way. No. All right. I'm yeah, just watching I no what idea. I see on TV. I'll, I know I'll nothing leave it about to you guys. I guess. There we All go. Right. All right, Hunter. Thanks a All bunch. Right. We appreciate you, and uh, we'll uh, catch you next week. Uh, bring the leader hosen. <laughs> All right. So, All right, there we go. Okay. He's not in the mood today. He is godly. Not in the mood at all. I can understand it. Our uh, interview. Well, I think it was 100... your question that ruined it. What's that? The pass interference yeah. one? I mean. Hey, why'd you mess up so many times? No, but it was <laughs> like there's a little bit of variance there. Like yeah. the one earlier in the year, that one I could defend yeah. him on. This one, he dropped the shoulder on the guy, and it looked like he, he ran was him like, over. He ran him yeah, over. It was, like, was an obvious pick play. Yeah. Um, our interview with Hunter Henry is brought to you by Verizon, my plan, the plan for Patriot fans. And uh, if the, I don't know, he, he didn't exactly come in screaming today like you and the uh, commissary over at DEI. <laughs> Yeah, ask me a question. It wasn't any of that today. Well, I, I disagree with him on a lot of stuff that he said, but I think he is in trouble. I think the whole team's in trouble. The whole um, splintering aspect of it. There's already signs of it. And if you're not if you're not if you're not acknowledging it, you're just like you're delusional.